Well, the USDA is reminding farmers and ranchers to apply for the Coronavirus Food Assistance Program 2 by Friday, December 11th. And as we've mentioned before, the program provides direct relief to producers facing market disruptions and associated costs because of COVID-19. With over 300 eligible commodities, from livestock and row crops to specialty crops and aquaculture, most farmers and ranchers are eligible for CFAP2. It's also important to note that CFAP2 is a separate program from the first coronavirus food assistance program and participating in CFAP1 isn't a prerequisite for participating in CFAP2. For more information, producers are encouraged to contact their local FSA office or visit farmers.gov slash CFAP online. And finally today, it looks like the American Sheep Industry Association, along with the NCBA and Public Lands Council, have provided comments on the U.S. Forest Service's proposal to amend the regulations related to non-monetary settlement when unauthorized or excess grazing is determined to be non-willful. Efforts to bring the U.S. Forest Service policy into conformance with BLM policy will, in this situation, they say, provide a great deal of clarity and reduce uncertainty for those permittees who hold permits from both agencies. The letter also addressed the definition of non-willful, unauthorized, or excess use and addressed forage consumption. Also signing the recent letter were the Montana and Wyoming stock growers, along with the Montana Public Lands Council and Wyoming Wool Growers Association. That's a look at your farm and ranch news. Have a great day.